State and federal leaders came together in Columbia to discuss affordable housing and the pandemic. Kaylin Hagwood was there and has more. The roundtable event happened here at Segra Park. Among the topics discussed were the thousands of South Carolinians they say are having trouble affording homes and the worsening pandemic they're hoping to turn around. Among those to speak was Housing and Urban Development Secretary Marsha Fudge, who says more needs to be done to help those facing eviction. Out of 46 counties, you cannot get a two-bedroom apartment just making minimum wage in this state. This state has more evictions than just about every other state in the United States, even before COVID. Then things turned with the pandemic, with state epidemiologist Dr. Linda Bell giving a status update, saying hospitalizations are increasing, but vaccinations can be a turning point. Congressman Jim Clyburn said misinformation is one of the biggest challenges. We're here today to see what we can do, to hear from you, uh, to find out what we might be able to do to get people uh, on one accord and get people to do what they can do in their homes, in their churches, in their communities to help us get beyond this pandemic. We are not going to get beyond it if we don't adhere to the science. This was just one stop on their agenda today. Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. Well, as Kaylin just mentioned, that was one stop on the agenda. Congressman Jim Clyburn made his next stop in an initiative to a nationwide initiative that partners barbershops to get people in the community a COVID vaccine. That was the next stop on his agenda. Now, the owners of one of the barbershops in Columbia explains to News 19 why getting involved in this type of program was so important. From the very beginning, when we opened up our doors, we had the conversation, or rather when he started the business plan, right? Having the conversation of what it meant to be a barbershop. Barbershops have long been in a place where people can come unwind and gain so much. But in addition to that, we wanted to say for a community to be healthy, we needed to be in and working alongside community members. And so this was the perfect opportunity to show that. 